This is Public Resource. I'm Thomas Gideon, the brewer behind Open Access Ninja. It's the brew of law. Making beer is a series of choices starting with the ingredients. Water, malted grains, hops, and yeast. Malting is a process where barley is sprouted and then stopped. Brewers restart this process by adding heat and water to malted barley. The result is conversion of starch in the grain kernel into sugar that yeast can consume. This is the same process that the plant uses to fuel its own growth. Brewers select malt for the flavors and color they impart. I selected Pelton, a pale, delicious craft malt from Oregon, similar to those produced in Europe. The next choice is water, which makes up more than 90% of most beer. Open Access Ninja is modeled after a pilsner, named for the city Pilsen, where that style was originally brewed. The source water there has a distinctive flavor and makeup. Some brewers add minerals to their water in order to emulate different profiles like that from Pilsen. My approach is to embrace the character of any and all local ingredients that I use. I use my local municipal water passed through a three-stage filter. I make minimal adjustments for functional reasons such as yeast health. The final ingredient are the hops. Hops give beer its characteristic bitterness, offsetting the sweetness from the malt and the alcohol. Hops also help preserve the beer. They have natural antimicrobial properties. From these basic ingredients and choices come many styles of beer. In my opinion, knowledge is the best brewing tool. Understanding the application of engineering and science, chemistry and biology helps me achieve exactly the beer I have in mind and to do so over and over again. I like to think open access to knowledge is a fifth ingredient to great beer. I've spent most of my career focused on technology. You might recognize my online handle command line for my software and podcasts. I first grappled with the challenges around open access to knowledge when I originally was learning about open source and free software. In brewing, open access is actually pretty common. Most brewers share what they know freely. Same ethos, we don't call it that. I brewed a beer in recognition of Carl's work years ago, simply out of profound appreciation. Soon after, I became involved with his project FedFlix as a volunteer. Both of those led to us collaborating on Our Nation's Attic, in many ways, a project very similar to this one. I believe it's important to do more than make. We must stand up for what's right. When Carl and I started talking about what would become Open Access Ninja, it lit up the same amazing intersection of interests. I try to live my life making the world better. What more fun way to catalyze that than through beer? I've been rethinking my career to focus more on beer and brewing. Andrea, my partner and I, are working on a venture, Quiet Scheme, that will allow us to share more of the beer that I make. We're still figuring out what form this is gonna take. We are definitely committed to building it on values of justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. We want our business to be part of a community where everyone is welcome, where everybody helps each other, and where we work together for the common good.